she's back and what better way to come back than with the three-day manifesting challenge let's go welcome back to my channel guys i know i've been gone for a while had a baby life happened whatever but now i'm back and i'm not even about to tell you guys just how many videos i'm about to push out for y'all but just know all the manifestation content is coming and what we're going to start with is a three-day man manifesting challenge y'all love to manifest something in three days and that's exactly what we're going to do welcome back y'all i'm candace Chantel here on my channel i teach you the simplest easiest most effortless foolproof ways to manifest if you're a member of this community you know manifesting isn't complicated it's simple that was a rough intro i just i just got here i feel like i just got here first day back bear with me okay but let's get into the good stuff video is kind of going to be direct and to the point because i'm also on tiktok if you don't already you can follow me there i'm going to be doing more content there as well different from here right kind of like more showing my personality based content not just delivering videos to you guys so because we're coming from a TikTok video also, this is going to be specifically how to do the three day challenge, kind of like a workshop. This is a how to instructional video for you guys. Now there's also a free download that you can get that comes with a couple more directions. It comes with a daily checklist to kind of keep you, it's kind of like a journal page to kind of keep you on track. So that is in the description box in my bio if you want to go ahead and download that as well. What that also does is it's going to send you uh, an instructional email today tomorrow and the third day to kind of give you a few more of my biggest tips and tricks in order to manifest faster so let's get started we are going to manifest in three days where does this whole three-day thing come from and why are so many people trying to do it to put it simply it comes from people who follow the law of assumption neville goddard the king of the law of assumption i mean in in my eyes i don't know anybody else he's like i don't know if he was the creator but most people go back to his teachings when they're talking about law of assumption. Neville Goddard said that just like anything in the Bible, it should not take any longer than three days to manifest anything that you want. Now he did make some caveats there, right? He was like three days of persistent thought, not wavering from the desire that you want, having a great mental diet, yada, yada, yada. So people who follow law of assumption have become obsessed with this whole manifesting in three days thing. Now, is it possible? Absolutely. I've manifested things in less than three hours in one day. You can manifest in a short of a time period, you know, as your belief takes you. So the first thing that we're going to do for this challenge is decide what we want to manifest. That is the easiest part. What do you want? Do you want a text message from someone? Do you want someone to contact you? Do you want to find a new job? Do you want a certain amount of money? Like, what is it that you want? Do you want a car? Do you want to get approved for an apartment, for a house? Whatever it is, literally, just because we're doing it for three days doesn't mean you have to limit yourself. Decide what it is that you want. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, here comes the part where we're actually going to start to do something. After you've decided what you want, if you follow me on this channel, if you follow me on TikTok, you know I really, really, really believe in using affirmations to manifest whatever you want. The reason why is because they work so fast. Obviously, your outer world is going to reflect your inner world, right? And your inner world is made up of thoughts, beliefs, you know, desires, like deep-rooted systems that you've had since you were small. And yes, there are ways to directly attack like your belief systems. You can use hypnosis. You can use EDMR therapy. You can use um, affirmation tracks overnight. But ultimately, the affirmations that you say to yourself, the the inner conversations that Neville would call, would call it, that you have with yourself, really are the easiest things for you to change. As you go throughout your day, you literally have like tens of thousands of thoughts throughout a single day. And so at any moment, you get to choose what you're thinking. And so if you choose to think something differently about your situation, you're going to get a different outcome than you would normally have. Now affirmations which are just our chosen thoughts the ones that we're going to use they can be if you're not used to doing this like someone like me someone who's like kind of feels like they're a pro they've manifested for a while if you're not used to doing this yes choosing your thoughts is a different experience why because when something happens to you let's say you're in a line and somebody bumps into you your first reaction might be like oh my god like what's your problem like da 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 and now you have now you have an attitude because you got bumped into but even that moment is a chance for you to choose your thoughts 
and change your outcome. Let's say you go on the path of, this is so annoying, this person bumped into me, now they're trying to skip me in the line, I'm sitting here waiting in line so long, you get up to the cashier, now you're rude to the cashier, she's rude to you, you got a whole problem. Versus somebody bumps into you, and you're like, uh, oh well, whatever, they must they must not have seen me, they, must, they might be having a bad day, it's all good, I'm almost at the front of the line. Hey, Miss Cashier Lady, how are you? Oh, really, you got a discount for me? Oh, cool, I wasn't even expecting that. I mean, I know that was like a little kitschy, but that's that's literally how it happens. That's literally how small tweaks like that and changing your thoughts can literally change your life. And if something in that example that I just made up, if you changing your thoughts in that small little way can make such a big impact on that simple process of being in line waiting to get checked out, how do you think if you consistently change your thoughts around something big that you want, how big of a snowball do you think can happen to really take your life in a different direction? It can get huge. And just like a snowball, it might start out slow. You might think nothing is happening. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's huge. It's out of control. And amazing things are happening for your life. That's why we use affirmations. So what affirmations are you going to use for your three-day challenge? Simple. First, you're going to create three affirmations, okay? Now, these three affirmations are going to be centered around what you want. Your first affirmation is going to be a very straightforward one. Just make it say exactly what you want. I receive an extra $1,500 this month. So and so and so text me a nice morning message. I get an email that I got the new job that I wanted. It's just like something very straight and to the point. You need to be repeating that affirmation over and over and over to yourself. I'm getting ahead of myself. We're actually going to repeat them all. But this is the first one that you need to make. The second affirmation is going to be one that's centered around you. So the first affirmation was very external. It was all about what we want to get that we feel is outside of us, right? The second affirmation you're going to say is going to start to turn you into the person who already has that thing. We're going to go more internally focused, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? This is, and for those people who are already in the law of assumption, if you're not a newbie, this is what I call a self-concept affirmation. This affirmation is going to tie in your self-concept to what you want. So if you want that extra $1,500 this week, but you feel like it's so hard to get money, you feel like money, you've always had to work hard for money, you have a self-image that money, you know, is difficult to come by. You feel in your mind that you're just not the type of person who can just receive money, who who doesn't have to work for it. You know what I mean? You're That just doesn't happen for you. Maybe other people, but not for you. So that's what I mean by self-concept. You're going to say something like, oh, I've always received money out of the blue. I don't know what it is about me. I'm like so lucky. I'm just always getting money in from these random places that I don't even expect. So you're turning yourself into the type of person that unexpected monetary blessings come to. You're making it about yourself and not just the money. If you wanna get a new job, but you think getting new jobs is hard, maybe you don't have the right skills, turn yourself into a person that just whatever job I go after, I always get. There's your affirmation right there. Whatever job I go after, I always get. I'm just that type of person. It's always been so easy for me to find and land new jobs. Now you're telling yourself, you're telling your mind and your subconscious that like, that's just who I am. I'm just that dude. I'm just that girl. Like no job, no problem because I'm going to get one. Everybody loves me at these corporate offices. Like that's just who I am. This affirmation is going to turn yourself, give you that self-concept of the person who the job comes to easily. Now, the third affirmation that you're going to say is going to be one that busts your biggest limiting belief around that desire. All right. So you want to get a text message for someone. Oh, but maybe from someone. Oh, but maybe they don't like me. Oh, but they're blocked and or oh, I'm blocked even worse. Oh, but I'm blocked. How are they going to text me when they block me? They don't even want to talk to me. That just can't happen. Whatever it is that you think is the biggest obstacle to getting your manifestation, your last affirmation is going to say the exact opposite of that. So and so and so will try to reach me no matter what obstacles they have to go through, no matter what hoops they have to jump through, 
they are gonna reach out to me no matter what. If you wanna receive new clients in your business, you might think, well, I don't really know how to market. I don't have a budget to market. I haven't put any feelers out there. There's no way that that many people are gonna find me. It is so easy for new clients to find me. Every day I wake up to new signups, new orders, People are literally seeking me out. I don't even have to market. My services are that good that people just flock to me. How hard is that, you guys? Come up, whatever you think, whatever you are giving yourself as an obstacle, because trust and believe, you're giving it to yourself. Whatever you're doing, just say the opposite. And look how easy it was. When I said that to you, you believed me, didn't you? You did. So say it to yourself. And eventually you will start to believe yourself and then you will start to see it become true in your life. Okay, so that was step two. After you decide what you want, create your three affirmations that you are going to use over the next three days. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these affirmations on autopilot. You're going to listen to them, repeat them as much as you possibly can. I use an app called Self Affirmed, okay? Now, I have recently found that found out that this app is only for iOS. So like iPhones, iPads, I found out that's only there. But if you are an Android user, you can use the Parrot app is what I've heard. Now, Self-Affirmed is really good. It includes binaural beats. You can add music if you want. So if you can access that app, try to, but Parrot will work just as well, okay? All you need, if you don't like saying your affirmations to yourself out loud, record them on the app and just play them over your headphones then no one even knows what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? No one even knows. If you're a scripter, write them down. Whatever you need to do, you're going to repeat these to yourself as much as possible over the next three days. Okay, step three. Now, I cannot believe I'm giving y'all all the sauce at one time, y'all. Please, please, please make sure you do everything in this video. Step three. We are going to do an itty bitty baby timeline shift in order to collapse time between the current you now and the you in the future who has your manifestation. How are we going to do that? Y'all, that's a whole other video, right? To explain all that's a whole other video. But to put it in simple terms, timeline shifting, quantum leaping, living in the end, acting as if it's all the same. It's all the same. Be the you. Be that version of you who already has your desire. Yeah, yeah, I hear that so many times, but how am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to feel like I have it when I don't have it? How am I supposed to feel rich when I'm literally broke? Okay, let's calm down. I'm gonna give you, and you will have additional information if you sign up for the free like little challenge booklet. I do send an email to you also. I think it's the day three email that gives you more information. But in simplest terms, Think about that version of you. What does he or she have? Literally, material items. What does he or she do? Where do they go? What type of habits do they have? Whatever you can think of, make an entire list. For example, maybe the six-figure version of you has like a super expensive skincare routine, La Roche-Posay, everything. Maybe you have a new vehicle. Maybe you only shop at a certain type of store or a certain grocery store. Y'all, we have grocery stores here that are literally a mile apart from each other and one store, like the same products in the store, one store will literally be double the price. And people are going in there and shopping and buy. I don't understand it, but I, I don't get it. Like, why wouldn't you just go here and pay, pay less money? But anyway, there are people who exclusively shop in that store. Maybe that's gonna be you. Maybe when you're rich, you're gonna exclusively shop in this store. Maybe when you have the boyfriend or the girlfriend you were always looking for, you're going to have like, you're going to buy super sexy lingerie and bed clothes and perfumes and colognes. Maybe you're going to do all of those things. Well, why are you waiting? Why are you waiting to do all those things then? If that's what the future version of you looks like on that timeline, you are going to turn into that person now, literally collapse time, merge those two timelines and get your manifestation faster. I'm getting more riled up talking about this because this is like a super, super duper manifestation hack. I will go into more detail on it in future videos. But for now, if you want to do this, literally, it doesn't have to be difficult. All of the things that you wrote down about that future version of you, just pick one. Just pick one. Maybe the future version of you, like I said, you use all of Roche-Posay. Just buy one thing, even if it's some lip balm. 
even if it's the cheapest thing that they have, buy it, use it every single day. Do not stop. You're turning into that version of you. You're, this is how you live in the end. This is how you act as if. Be that new version of yourself. That is step three. And you literally only have to do one, one tiny thing. Building habits is great too. Like if the new version of you goes to the gym every day, that would be great to start doing that now. But if it's too much, we want it to be easy. Go buy some lip balm. Literally. Does the new version of you have that $50 uh, lipstick from Chanel? Go buy the lipstick. That's it. One thing that you have to do. Okay. That is, y'all, more is coming in the email follow-up to this workshop, but that's literally all you have to do for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Please comment below. Let me know how it's going for you. Reply to the emails that I send, and I will see y'all tomorrow.